Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a basic tomato soup and croutons. I'm going to skip over a lot of the vegetable cuts and techniques because we've already learned that in lesson one. So all we're going to do here with our carrot, our onion and our celery is just mirepoix. So that's that roughly chopped. Just cut it all however you like as long as it's going to fit into that blender. And there is one other thing that we do need to talk about which is this celery. So in this celery there are strings so you want to top and tail it and then you're just going to take your paring knife make a small flap at the top and just pull that down the whole length of the celery and you'll see these strings will come out if you don't do that then they can end up in your final soup which is why a lot of chefs will strain their soup at the end we don't need to do that with this particular soup today because we're taking all the strings out now So what we've done so far is just cut our classic mirepoix of carrots, onions and celery and I'm just going to get some Greek basil, which I prefer to use standard basil, and chicken stock. And then here we have a sheet of leek which brings us into chef tip number three. We're going to make something called a bokeh garni, it's what chefs use to infuse a lot of flavour into their dishes. So in this one I'm going to put two small bay leaves about eight peppercorns and some dried thyme. Now the point of this is it's essentially like a tea bag where it's just gonna infuse the flavor and then later on we can remove it and discard it. So otherwise I've got some tomato puree, salt and pepper, one clove of garlic that I peeled earlier, and some tomato passata. And that is all of our preparation done for the soup. So we'll move on to some croutons. So I'll take this piece of sourdough loaf that I've got left over here. It's uh, stale, which is perfect for croutons. And we're just going to remove the crusts. You don't have to use sourdough bread here. You can use any bread that you've got laying around. And all we're going to do is cut it into about centimetre dice or however large you want it for your croutons. Then we'll place it into this bowl, add some olive oil or you could use vegetable oil, a pinch of salt and pepper, mix it through and put onto a baking tray. We're going to bake this at about 180 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it's golden brown. As always, I'll put links to all the equipment I'm using today in the description below if you want to purchase any of these for yourself. Alright, let's move back to the soup. So you're going to take a large saucepan, I put it over a low to medium heat, and about a tablespoon of olive oil. Again, you could use vegetable oil here. And we're going to add all of our mirepoix vegetables, including the garlic. Now we're going to sweat them down. That just means over a low heat with no color for about 10 minutes until they've softened and look like this. And you'll see the onion becomes translucent. That's when you know it's done and you can move on to the next step. So add your tablespoon of tomato puree now and we're going to give that a good mix through and just get that cooking. If you don't cook out your tomato puree it can be a little bit bitter but all you need to do is give it a stir for about three minutes that's all. Get it cooked out and then all we're going to do is add the rest of the ingredients and let it cook. So next up we're just going to chuck in our bokeh garni, our chicken stock, our tomato passata, turn the heat up to a medium high, bring it to a boil, then we'll turn it down to a simmer and let it cook for one hour. And here everything is when it's all cooked, so we're going to start by removing that bokeh garni, giving it a quick blend with a stick blender, 
add your hot milk and continue to blend until completely smooth. And then we're going to chuck in all the rest of that basil and blend again. Now I'm just going to take you through how I like to plate this up. So start by filling the bowl with the tomato soup itself. And then I made this balsamic glaze earlier. So it's just a reduction of balsamic vinegar and sugar. Top with a good amount of croutons. You want to build a bit of height here. And then we're going to put some slices of spring onion on top of that. A little bit of yellow julienne pepper. And finally, a few sprigs of Thai basil that I kept back from earlier. And you're done. Subscribe, like and comment if you like this video. And I'll see you next week.